Hi, this is Cindy from Vintage to New. Today is just a really short tutorial on how to make bag handles or purse handles or straps. It's all the same. And so without delay, let's get started right away with this short tutorial. So let's get started. So I wanted to show you, this is my Pelon 70 and I like 70 or 71. Uh, 71 has um, iron on adhesive on both sides. You can buy it with one or two. I, I buy it two sided adhesive when I buy it. This one is just a piece of Pelon 70, has no adhesive. It was just a piece I had in my stash. Um, lots of odds and ends and I cut it up to make bag straps and so I would take the pieces use my rotary cutter and cut them one inch and then I would um, zigzag the ends together so the ends were nice and square and then just attached them together so there's just multiple pieces all sewn together on this nice rolled, rolled up piece because I make a lot of straps and it's just one of those things when you have to stop, cut your pal on, cut your fabric, make your straps. This is just one more thing to make things quick and easy. Plus it's a great way to use up your scraps. So there's that. When you're making bag straps, um, you have to cut your fabric four times the width that you want. So I'm using a one inch piece of Pelon. So my strap fabric has to be cut four inches. So if you wanted to make an, a two inch bag strap or whatever, an inch and a half, you would take that, multiply it by four, and that tells you how wide to cut your fabric. Um, then the way that you do it, it's a lot like a uh, when you're making your uh, bias tape where you fold it through the little folder, you fold your fabric in half and press it. Then you open it up and you bring your sides in like this. But there's one thing I want you to notice. There is the slightest little gap that I have left all the way down the center. If you could just kind of picture doubling the width of this and leaving that much of an opening, this takes up a lot of space inside of your strap. And so to make it work really nice and easy when you're doing your folds, leave the slightest, this is like an eighth of an inch when I pressed it all the way down. So there's that. So then when we get started, all we do First, I'm just I'm gonna I'm just gonna measure the length. This is the width of the fabric, and I just need a couple of these. So now I don't have to deal with all that. Now, if you need to make a really long strap, um, I have a video. It's going to be right up here that tells you how to put together. Um, strips of fabric in the proper way so that you have a diagonal seam and it all comes out straight and that way you don't have a bunch of the seam all lined up across your strap. So check out that video on how to attach strips of fabric. Okay, so we're going to put our Pelon in and close it up. Okay. Then we're taking this piece and folding it up to the edge. Now you want the edge to come right together. Um, I am really, when I sew, not much of a pinner. But if you're new to doing this, it would be a good idea to pin it first so that you have it nice and even. So just pin it all the way down. Okay, so it's all pinned into place. The next thing we're going to do is put this in our machine and you're going to sew on this folded edge first. 
and you're going to sew at an eighth of an inch all the way down this open side making sure that as you go you keep it really lined up so that you have a perfect edge right there as you're sewing and this is not the time to be a speedster take your time and keep your line as straight as you can now my machine um, actually all the machines I have there's a way to put your quarter inch foot on and then move your needle over and it moves it over an eighth of an inch so I can still use my quarter inch foot lining up the edge like you normally do but move my needle over and it makes it easier to keep that nice and straight so I'm going to sew that and I'll be right back so here is my strap and the one thing I forgot to tell you before you start always stop with your needle down because you're going to be you know finoodling this around trying to get it nice and straight and things lined up and with your needle down it keeps your place where you're sewing if not it moves around so keep your needle down when you're doing something like this and it helps you to keep a nice straight line <clears throat> so then all I do is flip it over and I do an eighth of an inch seam down the other side and then I'll press it and you have wonderful handles for any bag or backpack or anything. They feel really good um, and it was just super easy. So until next time, this was Cindy from Vintage to New.